You inherit lifestyle more than genetics. What you put on the plate and what your family has put on the plate for decades and how they act every day, how they exercise, how they perform every day is what is passed down onto your plate for your determination of your health. The biggest determinant of your health is your mind, the decision that you make. Are you going to live the life that your parents or your grandparents lived, even if they had heart disease or cancer or diabetes or high blood pressure, even if they struggle financially every single day and give you the same advice that got them in that same position? Are you going to take it to the next level? Are you going to decide to eat that piece of fruit, even though someone else has told you that it could increase your risk for diabetes? Are you going to know the truth? Are you going to follow the studies and figure out exactly what foods has benefited humanity? What food has fiber in it, has vitamins and minerals in it? What activities will make you feel better as opposed to worse? What will worse? What will increase your self-worth? Realize that you are the locus of control, that you control your destiny. And if you have an external locus of control, then you let other people decide your life for you. You say the word genetics or genes as if that is going to be exactly how you live just because of how your parents lived. You are not an identical carbon copy just because you have the same eyes, face structure, or hairline as your parents. That does not dictate the amount of heart disease, blood pressure, cholesterolemia, or diabetes you put into your life. There is a reason why one out of every three children after born after the year 2000 are predicted to get diabetes according to the Center of disease control. It is because of what the United States eats, not because of the genetics that we have passed down. There is a reason why someone comes from another country like Asia as a female and increases her chance for breast cancer nine times over. It is not because of her genetics. It is because of where she's living, what she's eating, and what she's doing. Do you know that eating <clears throat> that sitting for over one hour increases your risk of diabetes. Do you know that sleeping for less than five hours increases your diabetes chances of diabetes because you can't even get blood sugar into the cell where it belongs? You are... Uh, inhibited by 30 to 50 percent to get the sugar into your cell as opposed to your bloodstream when you have too much sugar in your bloodstream you have diabetes and that is the reason why why most people in this country get their arms and legs removed even at jail time yes my love take this and love it and we're gonna have a nice shakies with some hemp seed and some mango that's frozen, some pineapple, some strawberries, and hopefully a fresher banana or two with plenty of water and hemp seed. Thank you so much for joining me and may you take off to the next level in your life.